Hi, and welcome to H-U-R at Home. I'm Angela Stribling. It's music night. We've been promoting this all week because we just love her, her music. We love her spirit as well. Please welcome, oh my gosh, it's her first time on H-U-R at Home, Seven Streeter. Hi, beautiful. How are you? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. You're looking amazing as usual. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So are you gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You know what? I was, you know, I got a chance to get the preview of your new project and oh my gosh, Seven Street are all grown up. <laughs> a little bit, tiny bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of it. I mean, I am here for every last one of those tracks. I was like, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Is this? <laughs> so I want to talk about that. I mean, this is not uh, seven from what was it TG4 and Rich Girl back in the day when you first started? Mm -hmm. No, I mean you know what it is. It's like you know, and you're not the first person like like oh girl this this album go there a little bit you know. But I I like that it's very um, representative of where I am right now. I'm so comfortable in my skin, and, um, ah. and it took a little it took a little time. I think that's just normal as women, you know, over time. Um, we just kind of, we, we evolve in our own type of way. And for me, I've always been able to express myself in music and writing. And, um, you know, I just think that it's something that as women we should just own, you know? I love it. I mean, you've got to embrace it. And we all go through that. I mean, you just happen to be <laughs> in the public eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? At some point in everyone's life, you have to say, okay, who am I? What is it that... I want to say, and where am I in my life? And this, uh, you know, as an artist, good for you for being brave and being bold. So, you know, I want to know, I mean, people don't know yet if they haven't, you know, heard the single and heard the album, they don't, they don't know what I'm alluding to, but it's, it kind of reminds me of Janet Jackson and Control. Mm, I'll take that. Kind of her coming out. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. I just, so what is it that? Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. What is it that made you decide to, um, you know, come out and say, you know what, this is this is my voice here. This is where I am. Um, I think that well, for one, the project is called Drunken Words So Thoughts, and I know a lot of times when people hear that they they think, you know, your first thing that comes to mind is, oh, you had a couple of drinks and now you're just telling all your business. But for me, right. it's a little bit different. For me, you know, when I think about it, um, I feel like you can really be under the influence of so many different feelings and emotions. And for this project, um, especially over like the last couple of years, I, as you know, just like you, like everybody else, so much has changed, especially over the last year and a half. Um, and even with me, you know, two years prior to that, you know, I lost my uncle to cancer, you know, and then being a woman mm -hmm. and involved and growing, you can date, you date a little bit. It's so many different yeah. And I didn't want to box myself in and, and, and say I had to sing about a specific thing. Um, if I felt lonely, if I felt angry, if I felt sad, if I felt no sexual, sensual, I wanted to write from all those different places because, you know, as, as women, especially as women, you feel so much. So to be under the influence of all of those emotions and to write from those places. So that's where John. That's beautiful. And my condolences. I am so sorry, you know, about your loss. That's that's never easy. And yeah, you've got to feel how you feel and process whatever is organic for you. And uh, lucky for you, you're an amazing songwriter. And, uh, you know, you mentioned the pandemic and yeah, it brought out all kinds of things, you know, for us. People processed in different ways. And you get a chance to be by yourself and in your you know, in your own feelings and in your own thoughts. Um, talk about how that might have led to maybe, I mean, would you say a revolution of sorts or um, I mean, what? I started to learn what makes me tick. You know what I mean? What makes me tick? What makes me operate the way that I feel most comfortable operating? What, what sets my day? What gives me peace? Like, you know, I, I started meditating, you know, more than I ever had. Ah. I, I, you know, I, I developed a routine for my, my life 
that, um, you know, I work at Freddie Moore and I watch my sermons, I meditate, I stretch, I write down what it is. And you know, it's like a, it's a whole like, thing, but I think that when you're forced to spend as much time um, with yourself as you all work, um, you want to spend work and you can see the best stuff and, um, and just find a little bit of yourself to be the best version of the best attack. Yeah, it's a great space and good for you for meditating. I am one of those. Uh, I'll meditate and it feels so good. My whole day, I feel like I'm not in control, but maybe a little bit. I feel like I, I can... I, everything just goes smoother, but you know, truth be told, I just don't do it as consistently as I would like. Yeah. I mean, did you, you know, did you have to learn how to do it, or how? What brought this on? My my trick that I learned is that oh, just wake up a few hours before the rest of the world, so that I can set my day peacefully and set my day intentionally, and um, yeah. that works for me because you know, you know. When you your business woman, you're up, you know, like at a certain time, all the calls start coming in right in the morning at a certain time. So, like, no, girl, we don't wake up until the time we wear, and we're gonna you know, decide what we want this day to feel like. And, um, it just it, it, it makes for a better foundation for your goal. Yeah. Day. Yeah, and I, I like the way you said that because that's that's the those are the words I was looking for. You set your day intentionally, and you know while I know we can only control but so much, but you kind of you kind of do, you kind of you kind of do control them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to talk about this project, um, Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts. Uh, you know, as you said earlier, it it might sound like you know when you're drunk and you just kind of say things what's really on your mind with no filter and for, uh, some, for some people it may be that just don't don't get that sometimes some nights they're gonna turn on that album and have a little shot of something or a little sip of something and it's gonna turn into something you, know I mean? you like, already know what happens you know so it's all it's all up there yeah. Um, yeah it's all good i mean and is there a relationship in particular that you're Thinking about and focusing on when you're when we're listening to this is this Seven's Sweetie Pie or or what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what it is for me, and I said this the other day. Like when I write, it, it's literally a combination of my experiences, my girlfriend's experiences, our conversation. You know what I mean? I have fans who deal really with the crazy stories, so it's like I write all the stories. And then you know, the other thing that I do a lot is that you know. People could be dating or you know, past relationship. I'll write some recording to different phases within a relationship. So, you know, you just never, I pull it in different places. So, it's kind of very, you know. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I mean, this is, it's a banger. Every single song, I'm like, what? Wait a minute, seven. <laughs> Congratulations. I mean, it's so. You know, I, I can appreciate you you're saying that just girlfriends because it's mm -hmm. it speaks to where we are at different phases in our lives. And, you know, oftentimes women are put into these boxes mm -hmm. where we can't claim our sexuality and talk about what we really want and what we're really thinking about. This puts it all out there in truth. Yeah. And it it attaches I say, you know, for me, um, being comfortable, first of all, being comfortable with who you are that comfortable with you, but being comfortable with, let's say someone that you're dating, especially as a woman, it's, you know, make us feel cool, make us feel secure, make us feel comfortable, make us feel, you know, come with the respect, all of the above, and, and you'll, you'll get a different, you'll see a different side of us if we choose to let you see a different side of us. So, yeah. um, you know, it. I like that the project, it speaks to, women and sensuality and, and, and it touches on that, but it also speaks to the things that um, that allow us to be that open and that comfortable, which is yeah. kind of in the conversations and the communication and the feelings. And the, it's all in there. You know, there's a song with Lucky Day called Bills and basically it's just a, a very, very honest conversation um, between, you know, a man and a woman. Um, then you have, you know, your sexy records like Wet Dreams where, um, 
you know, it, it is what it is. You got to get in the food, take a little sip, you have a nice time. Um, but yeah. then there, there are just so many ways. There's songs like Taboo that speak about um, realizing that there's a connection between you and someone else. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes people are like, man, this feels too good to be true. But, you know, too good, you know, doesn't have to be taboo. Why can't you just want to be with somebody? Or why can't they exactly. just want to be with you? You know what I mean? So it's like there's so many different spaces. Of, change my mind that's another one smoking my, hot come on it's like you know it's it's i can't wait for for people to get it into you know to be able to you know fall under the influence of whichever emotion they feel most comfortable. Mm, mm -hmm. and i love it and you know i love what you said because that's the truth i think the goal is to be so comfortable with your mate that you can really let them see yeah. the parts that you have to kind of keep personal and private but if somebody can just really let you feel so relaxed that you can just say what it really is and go wherever you can go with them oh that's the goal that is the goal that is the mm. goal. it's a beautiful yeah thing. i love to um i like to write i like to write music for people you know what i mean and, and when i say yeah. that i mean i Sometimes people don't necessarily know how to express themselves. So music is the way to do that. And if any of the songs on this project can help somebody better express how they feel, then I'm here for it. You know? Oh, I'm here for it too, Seven. <laughs> Congratulations. I love it so much. And um, so I think it's dropping on the 17th. Yes, September 17th. Drop the word so Yes. Far. Oh, it's so perfect. So seven, obviously, uh, they call you seven because you're born on seven, seven. Yes, yes. yes. Right? That is clearly, I mean, has that number just affected your whole life? Yes, oh, yes it has. Yes. Um, my, <laughs> my mother had me at seven months on the day of the seven. Oh! It's like, it's literally my, it's my origins. It's, That's your number. Yeah. 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 yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm into that. I mean, there's a lot to know about numerology. I can't say I know much about it, but the number 13 for me, I was born on October 13th at 513. Nice. So I'm thinking that number is yeah. very significant in my life. Mm -hmm. And you just look up and it just follows you. Like, oh, it is up on that. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I, I love it. So, all right, before we let you go, and I so appreciate you being with us tonight. We love you at WHUR, and we're all so proud of you and just continued success on your journey. Uh, for people who want to get uh, Drunken Words, I'm sorry, yeah, Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts, uh, it's available everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and to connect with you on social media, how do they do that? Man, Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts. I mean, stream it, download it, send it to your friends, send it to your bay. Like, have a vibe to it, have a drink to it, yeah. sit back, kick your feet up, allow yourself to think. Listen, pull out a notepad, write things down. Like, you know, get into yourself with Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts. And um, make sure you guys just follow me, my Twitter and my Instagram, are both at 7 S E B Y D. So, yeah. I love it. Seven, thank you so much. Continued success to you. And you're so sweet and so beautiful. And I love your new CD. Keep going in that direction. Thank you, thank you so much. Bravo. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow, Seven Streeter, just wait until you hear this entire CD. You're going to love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching HUR at Home Music Night. Thank you for keeping us your number one radio station in the DMV. That's 96.3 WHUR. I will see you Sunday night. I'll see you again for Pillow Talk with Angela right after Manzi Pullen and the original Quiet Storm. Follow me at Angela Stribling on all social and, of course, at WHURFM. Have a great night. Bye.